the last type of problem we're going to look at are problems where we're solving for time. <clears throat> so these are probably the toughest if we're starting with this equation because time is on the denominator. So there are a couple steps we got to do to switch it around. So there are more steps to these problems than the last ones where we're solving for distance or we're solving for velocity. <clears throat> so first off, how long will it take a green car traveling 40 miles per hour to travel 440 miles? So um, the velocity, so I'm looking for my V, so that'll be a distance over a unit of time. So 40 miles per hour is a velocity. And then distance, so my X, or change in X, how long will it take a green car, blah, 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 to travel 440 miles? 440 miles is a distance, so I'll write X under that. And then it says how long, how long, let's talk about time. So let's see, 40 miles per hour is my velocity, that's what we wrote over there, so I'll write 40 miles per hour, okay? Travel 440 miles, so my distance is 440 miles. And my time, I don't know, we're trying to calculate that, so I'll put a question mark there. Step one, plug it in. So I'm gonna plug in what I know. So my velocity is 40 miles per hour, so we'll write down 40 miles per hour equals, and I'm changing distance over change in time. So my change in distance is 440 miles, so that's 440 miles. And change in time, I don't know. I'm trying to find out how long will it take. So I'm gonna write T down here. All right, next step, multiply time on both sides. We're gonna to try to get time up outside of the denominator so that we can get it up there and we, then we can do more algebra to divide and solve for that T. So I'm gonna rewrite my equation that I, or what I have right here over here. So 40 miles per hour or over hours, equals, and I've got 440 miles divided by time. So if we're multiplying by time on both sides, and I'm gonna draw a little red squiggly here to separate that out. So I'll have 40 miles per hour still here, and that's gonna equal 440 miles, still divided by time, everything up here. And because I wanna get time up, to the numerator instead of where it's on the denominator, I'm gonna multiply by t on both sides, times t on both sides. What's gonna happen over here is the 440 miles divided by t and the t on the top here are gonna cancel out. Okay, so now I'm left with, over here I have t times 40 miles per hour equals and the only thing left on this side, since the T's were cancel out, is 440 miles. And we'll separate that out so it's not so confusing. All right, so T times 40 miles per hour equals 440 miles. Let's rewrite that down here, and we're going to divide. We're going to simplify this even further. So T equals, or sorry, T times, we're going to rewrite everything from over here, T times 40 miles per hour equals 440 miles. We want to get t by itself, so we're going to get rid of anything on that side of the equal sign. The only thing over there is 40 miles per hour. So we'll divide, since, that, since that's going to be multiplied by t, we'll do the opposite operation, which is division, multiplication division, um, to get rid of this. So we'll divide by 40 miles per hour. And on this side, we'll divide by the same thing, 40 miles per hour. Okay, so on, on this side over here, 40 and 40, they cancel out. That was the reason we did that, to get T by itself. And on this side, now we have 440 divided by 40. I'm going to rewrite this down here. So T equals, and I have 440 on top, so 440 miles divided by 40 miles per hour. All right, I'm gonna do my division over here. So 440 is on top. We can think of that as, you know, the analogy I used earlier was think of a person riding on some really scary looking monster. The one that goes inside the house is gonna be the person or the one on top, so it's 440. And then we've got 40 miles per hour over here, so we'll have 40 on the outside. So 40 goes into four zero times, no, 
can't happen. 40 goes into 44 one time though, that's possible. So that's gonna be one times 40, it's gonna give me 40. Subtract, I'll have four there and a zero there. 40 goes into 40, that's right, one time. One times 40 is gonna give me 40 again. I'll get zero. So now we've got 11 as our answer up here to 440 divided by 40. All right, this is a disaster over here. That's why we have this nice clean spot over here to write our final answer. So time equals, and I had 11. So that's all that was simplified from this 440 divided by 40. And we had miles on the top and miles per hour on the bottom. These miles are gonna cancel out. So all we're left with is hours, and that's good because we're looking for a time. So my final answer will be 11 hours. So the screen card is gonna take a long time. And that's it.